welcome. Ryan Nordahl here with Epic Whitetail Habitat, LLC. We're right in the heart of the October lull, people. Fact or fiction? To me, it's fiction. But we're in the middle of a major cold front here in the middle of October. And I'm seeing a lot of reports of people, friends, myself. We're experiencing very low deer activity during this kind of a cold front. I mean, we're talking extreme cold temperatures. You know, in the next coming days, it's supposed to only be in the mid to upper 30s. And usually we're supposed to be right around 55 to 60 degrees this time of year. Why aren't we seeing the deer movement that we should be seeing during these types of cold fronts? Now, I'm not saying deer don't get up and move during these types of cold fronts. They are up and moving. Deer eat five times in a 24 hour period, three of those times being during daylight hours, back in their bedding areas, close to the bedding areas. But why, as of late, aren't we seeing the deer activity that we should, especially on properties that are low pressure to begin with, like my own properties? What I find is, and it's true, is you have to meet the barometric pressure has to be rising to, max, to, to experience maximum deer movement during these cold front periods. Right now we're just kind of at a stagnant barometric pressure. We're right, running right around 28 inches of mercury right now as far as barometric pressure goes. I like to be hunting on those days, especially those mornings where those temperatures are below 30 degrees, but the barometric pressure is above 30 and it's continuing to rise throughout the day, especially throughout the morning, early morning hours, daylight hours of the early morning. And uh, I just find in my own experience that those are the times during those temperatures and that type of barometric pressure when deer activity seems to be at its peak in my own experience. Now your experience might be different than mine. And it all correlates to deer density as well. I'm in a high deer density area. There's no question about it. But a couple weeks ago, when we had our first cold front come through, the barometric pressure was above 30, 31 inches of mercury. And at that time we were experiencing lots of daylight deer movement on our properties. Why haven't we seen it now? Why haven't we seen the deer movement that we should be seeing? And we've only hunted the property one or two times prior to this. And that's simply because in my experience that the barometric pressure is right at that 28 inches of mercury, 28 to 29 inches of mercury. And the higher the barometric pressure and the more it continues to rise during that period of time is when I see an extensive amount of deer movement during daylight hours. So just be patient with it. It's coming. We're going to be warming up here in the next week or so. By next weekend, we're supposed to be back up into the lower to mid 60s. But after that is another sharp cool down. But I do believe that a very good high pressure system as of right now in the long range forecast we're supposed to be experiencing higher pressure along with those falling temperatures. So I think in the coming weeks, today is October 15th, we're gonna be right around, you know, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th of October, right at the head of what I always consider to be pre-rut, right at the head of it, when we're gonna start seeing Mature bucks on their feet cruising during daylight hours, checking for does. And it's not necessarily the cold that gets them on their feet, but it has to do with the rising barometric pressure. That's the point I wanted to get at today. It may I'm not saying that you can't see deer during these low pressure periods, low barometric pressure periods. You certainly can, and I have. But it just seems to me I see more deer when the barometric pressure 
is high and is rising. That's the differentiation I want to make here in this video today. Hey guys, I hope this all kind of made sense and gave you some clarity. I hope you have a great deer season coming up. You know, we're just a couple weeks away from what I consider to be pre-rut activity. Mature bucks on their feet during daylight hours, you know, kind of predictable. You know, I think deer during the pre-rut can be very predictable. Um, it's just my experience, but hey guys, we're getting into that magical time of the year. It is getting to be the end of what a lot consider Bucktober, and uh, we're just a couple weeks away from a very magical time of the year and a fun time to be in the tree stand, that is for sure. So, if you haven't already, keep following me along and hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell, that way every time I upload a new video you get it right away. I hope you found this video somewhat educational. If you didn't and you have something negative to say, I don't care. It isn't going to bother me. I'm going to keep producing these videos whether you guys like it or not. So, so be it. Thanks for following me along. Give this video a like. Share it with your friends. It's how it. It's how I beat the algorithm, and we're growing every day. I love and appreciate you guys. We've got some pretty cool things coming here. Look to our updated website. I'll have a link in the description at the bottom of this video. So be sure to give that, a, check that out. And uh, happy hunting, guys. Keep living the dream. Thanks for joining me.